Well, the election is over, and I'm, I'm sure you have all spent a fair amount of time digesting the results and um, um, watching coverage and talking with friends and family about it. Uh, so here's uh, a chance to discuss. And I'd like, I'd like for you to discuss in the context of the exit polling data. Um, this is exit polling co uh, collected by a consortium of media outlets um, stationed at um, po polling places around the country uh, asking, you know, every fourth person or something to, f to fill out the, these, uh, answer these questions. And I think the data set is about 23,000 respondents or something. Um, and I'd like for you to just look through this data, find two uh, data points that you find most interesting, and say something about why you find them interesting, and then reply to two other students. But, but let me just show you quickly how to look at this data. So here is you know, the question, you might say, over here, answers. I have scaled this. Now, when you go to this website, you may have to play with it a little bit to get this option to scale, um, to show up. I don't know why, but it's very difficult. The New York Times website, sometimes it pops up, so you'd be up here and you don't see it. And then as you scroll down, the option to scale will pop up, okay? If you don't scale, it looks like that. It's all the same size, but it's very interesting if you scale by population, okay? Um, if you can't figure it out, it's not a big deal, but it's much more interesting. And there's also comparison to other, all the other years' data is up here. It's a very... Uh, um, you know, rich set of data. Uh, at any rate, so here's the gender gender gap, what we call, right? So 54% of females voted for for Clinton. Um, 40, only 41% of males voted for Clinton. And you can see over here, and every answer will be like that. You can see the larger, if you scale by, scale by population, then the larger the box is, essentially the more votes there are. And over here is what percent of the electorate that is. So 48% of the electorate was male, 52% female. We've had a larger, women have had a larger turnout percentage for quite a long time. Um, you, so as you scroll down, you'll see lots of different, so these are different demographic groups. This is the group that's getting a lot of attention, white without college degree, 67% voting for Trump, and that was 34% of the electorate. Uh, different demographic uh, it, um, groups, and then as you scroll down, you'll see um, issues, most important issue to them, condition of the nation's economy, what do you think of it? And uh, the way to think about this, for instance, that when they, they said the, with the question they were posed, what is the most important issue to you? And here are the four choices that got most of the answers. And then if you answered foreign policy was the most important issue, 60% uh, of those people voted for um, Clinton. That's the way you can read this. The gray is the third parties. Okay. So just spend a little bit of time looking through this data. Um, I'm sure you've had a time to kind of re emotionally or, or, or whatever, um, you know, talk about the election. But in this context, I'd like for you to think about it more in terms of specifically what do these exit polling um, tell us about, um, about, about why people voted the way they voted. All right.